When neighbors called to report several horses on a Stockbridge farm that looked underfed, state police and Madison County Sheriff's deputies responded. Kim Strong's animal advocacy group helped move the horses to Morrisville State. She believes Madison County should contract with the Central New York SPCA rather than have deputies try to interpret complicated agriculture and markets laws relating to animal neglect. To, to truly protect the animals, you need someone whose only job is to protect those animals and let police do what they do. And they do it well in Madison County. Lewis Currency is on the Madison County Board of Supervisors and is president of the Wanderers Rest Animal Shelter. He wants to have experienced staff provide training to Madison County deputies and the district attorney's office. He says deputies are best equipped to handle animal abuse calls since they may uncover other crimes during their response. There's a fine line between abuse, neglect, and what's actually going on. Let's do this the right way. It takes time, yeah. it takes money, and um, education. Strong says Oneida County has had great success contracting with the Central New York SPCA and trying to train an entire department on elaborate animal neglect laws is a waste of money. And I don't know why anybody in any county in any position of power wouldn't want to provide their officers with more tools for less money than it would cost to train the officers. Advocates have also been asking for a change that would make animal abuse a felony in New York State. For now, reporting from Syracuse, I'm Alex Dunbar.